hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to draw on a pdf using pencil kit for flutter ios uh, and save that pdf and then we can view whatever has been drawn on that pdf as well so let's get started so first i will quickly show you a demo here is a normal pdf which i have okay uh, i am displaying it using pdf kit i have two button at the top start drawing and save suppose if i click on start drawing it will display pencil kit for me now using any of this pencil i can write something so i'll just select this one and i will just write nobody uh, do whatever you feel like uh, now i am not really good at uh, this drawing because i am drawing it on a simulator with using my trackpad that's why it is little finicky and here i will do something like this as well okay then uh, i can do using something like this okay and here i will do something like uh, i'm not sure if you are able to see the blue or not but i'm trying to do something okay so I, here i have done now i can save this okay uh, so this is saved uh, what if i try to rerun my application will i able to see the saved pdf no because i will come back to the code later on in more detail but basically if you see my code i am just lo loading the original pdf which does not have the drawing which i had so here you can see i'm not able to see whatever i have drawn so what i'll have to do is the saved pdf is in this particular documents directory so i'll just uncomment this one out again i'll come back to the code in a bit uh, but currently i just want to show you guys uh, the output and if you want you can add one more button and on click of that you can uh, display this pdf as well okay so here you can see this is our saved pdf so let's see how to do this so currently i'll just comment this out again and uncomment this so firstly i have created as usual a flutter application inside a uh, main dot dart uh, i have just refactored this home page widget so it is a stateless widget we are getting the width and height here is our scaffold safe area size box so this is passing our width and height and this is our pdf view so if you see my pdf view word dot dart here i have created a stateless widget okay sorry i'll just so here is our stateless widget this is the identifier which i will have to use it on native ios side as well and if platform is ios then only we are creating a ui kit view we are passing that identifier as well for all other platforms i'm just displaying a placeholder because this is ios specific only then you will have to open the xc workspace of ios inside xcode now there is a lot of boilerplate code which even i don't understand uh, i'll simply scroll through this so i'll just close everything close other tabs okay firstly you will have to go to your project update the minimum ios deployment target to 16 because there are some features which are only available from ios 16 and above also go over here and change the deployment target to 16 over here as well firstly you will have to go to app delegate dot swift you will have to copy paste this particular code now this is the same identifier which we have used it on dart side so make sure you use the same thing and here i have used this swift file which i will come back to shortly next firstly create this pdf document overlay now i am not really good at this i have just copy pasted this code from documentation so i'll simply scroll through this you can just copy paste all the code which i am displaying okay so this is the first uh, file pdf document overlay then there is this drawing annotation file again create a swift file and just copy paste all this code Uh, then I have created this PDF document page again just copy paste it I don't really understand all this stuff then here is our PDF toolkit picker again just copy paste all this code so this is basically for that pencil kit stuff then we create this PDF drawing view again you can just copy paste it okay then here is our pdf document again you can just copy paste it one thing which i want to tell you is for saving the file we have to use this burn in annotations option equal to true suppose if you have images as well then it's better to also use this save image as jpeg option and optimize image for screen option along with this option so that your uh, pdf is much more uh, smaller in size uh, okay uh, the rest uh, again you can just copy paste all this code 
okay then here again uh, create this swift file and also again copy paste all this code okay then you have to create this swift file now this is flutter specific so every anytime you want to embed a native ios view inside your flutter application you have to write this boilerplate code so you can just copy paste all this code don't really worry don't worry too much about it but here you can see we are referencing another swift file called my pdf view native view uh, my pdf view native sorry and for that also i have created another swift file so first here we are uh, extending from flutter platform view you can just copy paste all this import we are creating a parent view here we are initializing our pdf document view which i have created over here the swift file and then i have these two buttons as well okay and here firstly is drawing enabled is equal to false and here we override this particular method we initialize our U ui view parent view we initialize our document view initialize two of our buttons and assign click listener to it as well then add all this to our parent view set ns layout constraints to all of this uh, then here you can see i have dragged and dropped one sample pdf inside my project so that's what i am displaying over here the name of the pdf is sample so that's what i'm using it over here change the name to whatever is your pdf file name you can also use uh, pdf which is stored on your server but you will have to change this code a little bit in ca if case you are if you are interested you can watch my pdf kit view uh, for native ios how to display a pdf view using pdf kit in native ios and okay i'll come back to this code later on next here we override our view return our parent view or first when the drawing button is toggled we change this boolean value enable uh, call this particular method change the title of our button depending on whether you are drawing or not and once save button is clicked we basically save the file to this documents directory okay and here i just want you to be careful like uh, for every file which is saved i am using the same name but it's better you append the timestamp as well so that every file you save uh, has some unique name uh, now coming back to this so as you can see we are storing the file in documents directory now if you want to get the saved file so what i was doing was i was uncommenting this but what you can do is create one more button just like we have over here and as well as over here and on click of that button you can open another uh, uh, view which can display this pdf now when we save file to documents directory there could be multiple files there could be multiple pdf files as well so if you see my code i will just uncomment this uh, and i will comment this out so now you can run your application if you want to see your saved file so basically we get hold of our file manager then using the file manager we get hold of our document directory then we pass the document url to this file manager dot contents of directory then we filter only those files which has pdf in their extension okay now here you will get array of files but if you see over here i am only getting the file which has been stored last so i am only displaying that particular file if you want to store if you want to display all the files you maybe want to send this array uh, of urls to react native side then display it inside a flat list with their given name then once any item of flat list is displayed you can open another view pass the url of the pdf file and then display that pdf uh, sorry not flat list a flat list in react is in react native sorry uh, for flutter it is a list view dot builder so you can display all the pdf file with their name inside list view dot builder and once an item has been clicked off list view dot builder you can again pass that url back to native ios side you can create one more view in that you can display a pdf uh, using that particular url so yeah uh, like instead over here as well you can uh, use this particular code this entire code uh, so yeah that's it uh, that's how you can uh, use it thank you for watching bye